and a cat would say even after you've been gone a week, have you been gone? Well, I entitled yesterday's lesson Thursdays, and today is really Thursday, so uh, you're probably going to get two that say Thursday, but nevertheless, we're in the book of Genesis, and we're looking at the creation account, not the creation of God, but the creation of the universe. We looked at the sovereignty of God. We looked at the creation of uh, the uh, earth and its uh, coming out of form, uh, having form and uh, being uh, designed with space and with water and we saw the fact that the solar system was placed into orbit by God and we also looked at animal life and uh, the fact that it would reproduce after its own kind. We looked at the uh, drum roll as God created man in his own image and in his own likeness, male and female, no variations from that. And he also uh, tells us very clearly that he blessed them and told them to multiply and be fruitful and fill the earth. We looked at the fact that science today has uh, the kingdoms and the phyla of creation and there's no in-between for evolution. It's, uh, evolution, uh, they either have to say that it stopped or that they made no provision for it. And nevertheless, we uh, want to look today at verses 29 and chapter 1 through 31, and then we want to look at the first three verses of chapter 2. So let's take a look at today's text. Then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of all the earth, and every tree which has fruit yielding seed, and it shall be food for you. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the sky, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. God saw that he had made, and he behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, and the sixth day. Genesis 2, 1 through 3. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed, and all of their host. By the seventh day, God completed his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all of his work which he had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because it is in it he rested from all of his work which God had created and made. Yes, it's clear in verse 29, plants and fruits for us, green vegetation for the animals and the birds, and he looked it all over and he said it was very good. Very good indeed, the sixth day. In chapter two, he says, thus he created it all. He looked it over and he rested on the seventh day from his work. God finishes his work and he finished his work. Then he took that seventh day and he blessed it. He sanctified it means he set aside that day he blessed it and wanted us to have a day of rest. Now, I think it's very important that we recognize that in God's creation, it doesn't say he started on a Monday and finished on a Saturday and therefore rested on Sunday. What I think we should interpret from this book of Genesis is that God realized that we needed rest on the seventh day and he set it aside and blessed it and sanctified it so that we could have a day of rest from our labors. God doesn't get tired, and he didn't need his rest, but he knew we did. And so he made a very good outline for us here. Now, I think it's going to be interesting as we look ahead at the next couple of verses to recognize that we're going back now into the creation of man and woman and what they did here on earth, uh, rather than to think that it is historically the next event, because he already said he created man and woman uh, and then he rested. So we, we cannot throw out that joke about the fact that he created the heavens and the earth and man, uh, and then he created woman and neither man or beast have rested since. But, because really we're going to be going backward in time. And it's almost like Moses was sitting on Mount Sinai saying, God, uh, how did you create man and woman? And why is the creation of them in your likeness different than the creation of all of the animals? 
all of the universe. Why is it so different when you created man and woman? So it's almost like there was a little interlude on the Mount, on Mount Sinai when Moses asked God for more detail about the creation of man in his own image. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Today was Thursday. I'll get it straight sooner or later.